Hello, my awesome artists. This week, we are starting a new project because we finished up our project last week. We are inspired by um, Vincent van Gogh and a little bit of an optical illusion with our paper. You for sure have seen van Gogh's artwork. He's the one who did Starry Night, um, The Sunflowers. He is probably the most famous artist there is. What is very unique about uh, van Gogh is that he uses a different technique to paint. He uses um, lines to do his strokes. He doesn't like blend all of his colors together. He uses little lines to separate his colors and his tones. Our project this week, we won't get into the color or Van Gogh part of it. We are just going to focus on the line drawing. And then next week, we are going to uh, use his technique to color it in. This is my project so far. And I'm using an optical illusion by cutting out a piece in the paper to make the chair look like it's sitting up. We are inspired by this piece by Van Gogh, his chair. And as you can see, like I said before, he, you can see like little lines of all of his colors. We are gonna practice that next week. This week, we are only focused on drawing out our pencil lines. You can do whatever you want for the walls. If you like to add a window, a bookshelf, a lamp you could add, um, and then it's also up to you on how you want your floor and the design of your chair. So let's get started. Before you get started, here are some different examples of other kids your age that did this. So you could pause this or come back to this to maybe get some inspiration about what you might want to do for your project. So to start our project off, we are gonna fold our paper in half and draw two lines almost like a square, but not across. And you're just going to cut those two lines. Easy enough. And then you're gonna open it up. You're gonna poke that through and you're going to fold it again and really like crease that edge to make sure it's on there nice and sharp. And to start to draw this, I would just like unfold your paper and just have it flat. And you're going to Create your chair first. So I'm just going in and doing like a basic wooden chair, very similar to the chair that he had. If you'd want to do a different type of chair, you can totally do that. But right here is just the back of the chair. And then where that first square is, that will be like the seat where you sit at. And then that last square will be where the legs are. So this is the seat of the chair. And then this is the legs. So it looks kind of funny when it's flattened out, but um, it, will, it will look good when it is folded. There we go, oh, upside down. There's the chair. And so now it is time to draw the rest of our room. On that folding line that we used, I drew a horizontal line for our like horizon line. And so that separates the wall from the floor. And so really this is all up to you on what you decide to add to your piece now. Um, I did a window, a light coming down from the ceiling, a little bookshelf, a painting. Uh, it's really up to you. You could draw you in the background. For the floor, you could do, I'm doing like a hardwood floor, which is what he had in his. You could do tile floor. You could just do like a big area rug. Um, but for my hardwood floor, I used a ruler. And then I'm going in and doing these other lines to like show the planks of the wood. Way to go on this first part. I can't wait to see it. Make sure you keep it safe for next week so you don't have to start all over. Um, it can store flat and it could be stacked up. It does not have to stay folded like this all the way until next week. But make sure you do take a photo of it and your photo is clear. I can see all parts of it and you post it on Google Classroom. I hope you had fun with the start of the project. Bye.